Hello, Kat here. Today's card is this butterfly pop-up card from Cricut Design Space. It's really easy to find. You can put it in the search bar, pop-up cards, 3D cards, butterfly pop-up, it will show up. And cut the pieces you need, and then we can begin. The pink parts here are very obviously the petals of the flower that the butterfly sits on. And they actually have score lines already on there, which the Cricut did for me. So fold along each of the score lines. You can do this mid-air or on the flat surface, but fold along those creases. Don't worry which direction too much. The flower is obviously going to all fold one way. Um, the tabs at the bottom will actually fold out and then the tab on the side will fold in and tuck either in front or behind the petal. And you do the same for all three of these. They are slightly different sizes. They do go from large to small. Fold all of them the same way. And then when it comes to putting them together, we'll obviously put them in size order. Next, we're gonna put the butterfly wings together. So there are four black pieces and then two pale pink pieces. And the black pieces you can see have different slits in them. So there's two that have the slits the same as the left piece and two the slits the same as the right. The right pieces that are the same stay together and the left pieces are the same stay together. And this is because you're going to slot the wings into each other. So the, effectively the two black bits on the right and the two black bits on the left are just layers that are going to go either side of the pink bit you can see here. I'm using my precision tip bottle here because they are tiny bits of detail on the, the wings and you want to make sure that you don't just get glue everywhere. If you had a spray adhesive, um, that would work too. But I find that these bottles really do help when you're doing intricate work like this. So I sped it up a little bit because it's gluing and you can see what I'm doing. And you want a quick drying glue. The one I use is um, multimedia glue from Recollections. I find it works really, really well. There are two score lines on each of the tab parts of these butterflies, so fold those over. At this point it doesn't really matter in which direction because they're going to go into the card to hold the butterfly into the centre of the card effectively and the tabs will go their separate directions once inside the card. And then you're going to slide one butterfly onto the other, I think it's the left, down onto the right side there. Or is it right on left? Left on right, that's right. Into the front front slits there, they slide down. So that the wings will then move back and forth. The body of the butterfly slides in this centre bit here, but there is actually a, a score line down the centre of it. So to fold it along the centre score line first, and then slide it onto the butterfly. I did it ahead of time and I was like, the, the card itself is gonna fold in half, which means the butterfly will need to fold in half. And if those crease lines are already in there, it's gonna make it fold and work a lot better as a pop-up card once you've put it all together. These are the leaves. Take the piece of card, fold it down the centre. You can see that there are slits in the middle there, there are six, that's for the pop-up bit. This is the outside part of the card. Fold down the score line, just down the centre like any normal card. And you can use a scraper tool to define that or a bone folder to make it nice and clean. And as you can see, there's a cutout on the front that's really quite cute. That's the only detail on the front of this card though, so if you wanted to add a sentiment or jazz it up a bit you can. The right side is a pocket because the sentiment card goes in it like that. So you just put tape or, or glue around the outside edge and there is a score line around the edge to show you where to glue. The front side of the card, I've added a tiny bit of glue behind the butterfly because I want it to sit flat on that cardstock, but it is not necessary. You can just put tape around the edges and then stick it on. Just if you're going to put tape or glue on that piece of card, make sure it's not going to show through to the front side because with the cutouts, it's easy enough to do that. And then you've got your glue and your tape showing through the front and it's quite messy. So 
just round the edge will be fine and if you want to glue it down a bit more like I did you can do it like this too. For the flower we have to glue the tabs together to make the flower complete. So I decided to put my tabs on the outside of my flower. You can put them on the inside. I don't think it matters too much. You're less likely to see them if they're on the outside because you're going to look at the card from the top or the inside. So I added my tab to the outside. And that's the same for all three petals here. A little bit of glue on the inside to add it to the outside of the petal. And these flowers, they sit, like I said, there's one of each size and it goes small, medium, large. I'm going to put them inside each other and then make sure the tabs that are attached to the petals in the centre all come out the back. Making sure the largest one is the first one you put down because there are six slits and the biggest petal goes, the tabs go through the outside. So popping the tabs through the outside slits, you can still see the other ones on the inside. Pull them through, make sure it's kind of center, and you'll see the tabs, and then glue those down. There's only one way to glue them. If you glue them the other way, you're going to glue them over the other slits, and you want to make sure they're still open. You take the next one, do the same, glue them down. I didn't press too flat when I was gluing them on. It's easier to fold them flat because then you're not going to crush the flower petals. So put the tabs through, add the glue, press a little bit, nice and gently though, and then if you really want to press those down, fold the flower in half to add that pressure because that way you're not going to squash the flower petals in a weird direction and ruin your design. The centre has these two little black pieces of card, just goes in the middle. Don't put them so close to the centre that they touch each other, but also don't put them over the last slits where the final pieces of petal went, because those slits are where the butterfly is also going to go in. It's actually a little bigger than the other ones were, so there is room, but don't glue over the top of them. Make sure you can still see those slits. This is the very centre of the flower. There are score lines all along this, so fold down each of the score lines. And it's going to kind of look like a circle in the center of that flower. There are two tabs at the bottom and one on the end. The one on the end is going to have a little bit of glue on it and connect that, making it complete. And then the two tabs at the bottom, they're going to go through the flower slits onto that card. And they will sit again in the same ones that the butterfly ones are going to go into. The next thing I did was actually not in the instructions, but I decided to make them look a little curved because I think it'll make a little bit more of a realistic looking flower. And I just have a paintbrush here, would also work with a pen or a pencil, and just my thumb over that, just curving them a little bit out. It's going to give the butterfly a little bit more room to move without getting stuck too. I just figured it looked a little nicer with a bit of a curve on it. I don't know, it's up to you. Let me know. Curve? No curve? What did you decide to do? When that is ready though, just put the tabs through the slits in the centre and as before with the petals, glue them in. To attach the butterfly, poke the tabs through the last two slits, the same ones the other black bits went through. And really just the ends. I poked them in a bit far to begin with, but just the ends where the tabs fold on either side. And once you've got them in, then you're going to separate them and glue one going one way and one the other. This makes it really secure and it makes the pop-up action work really, really well. And it's going to make it nice and flat when it lays in that card as, as well. All tabs glued down, a bit of pressure, and make sure that glue's dry before you start testing it to see if it works. But you really want to make sure that it does fit completely flat and opens out the way you want it once it's glued. Sticking it into the card, super simple. You could use tape if you have a fine tape gun. I found glue a lot, lot easier for this because you want to glue within the leaves and not get it all messy. Glue one side, press it down, glue the other side. 
sped it up obviously so you can see what I'm doing. If you like butterflies, I do have one of my own designs in Cricut Design Space. It's in the community tab and I have a video um, showing you very fast how I put it together. The envelopes are super easy if you used a pattern paper and then reverse it so that it's white on the outside. It's nice and lightweight if you're going to mail it, fold along the score lines, use a scoring tool to see where you're going to put that tape or glue. That is my little secret tip I always use so that I don't overlap the glue or the tape. It's the outside of the envelope and there's your envelope. Finished card! I hope you enjoyed today's video. I will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.